Kendrick Lamar announced that Kendrick Lamar announced last weekend that he will be performing at the 2025 Super Bowl in New Orleans, Louisiana. New Orleans. And uh, there's a lot of uproar right now Louisiana. about a particular person uh, who I won't name. Wheezy. Wheezy F. Baby. Not being able to perform, not being asked to perform uh, about at, at, at the Super Bowl. Uh, nah, I don't know if he wasn't asked. We don't know that. Cause we, if he wasn't asked, then why? If he, well, what? He definitely so, wasn't asked. No, because Jeez. I don't know. No, because he literally came out with a video talking about how he how oh, he's wait, disappointed. He said it in the video. He wasn't asked. He said in the video how he's disappointed that he can't perform at the Super Bowl because he he wasn't asked. But I'm saying he said the words I wasn't asked to do. This, Super Bowl. I don't think he has to say I wasn't asked. <laughs> no, he does because. Okay, so what do you go ahead? Because. They vote. They 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 get a list of names and they pick from the list of names. Uh, so from the list, so Ken, I don't know. Let's just say Kendrick, Taylor Swift, Beyonce, Lil Wayne, Taylor. I don't know some random niggas. Out of that list, they pick the they pick from the list based off of who they want. They I I, I seen rumors circulating. It was it's the city that picks, but I don't really know how true that is. But I know out of the list of people, they pick who they want to be in the Super Bowl. So. If there's a list of five people, he just didn't get picked out of those. He may have gotten a call. He might be there, but he, he there's no way he's gonna be there. I mean, he's not gonna be there. But I'm saying, like out of those five, they they had to pick between the five, and Kendrick just so happened to get picked over him. So you're saying that there was a there was a potential that Wayne could have yeah, been picked there's, to play there's, the Super there, Bowl. there for sure was potential, nigga. It, yeah, Jay Z's in charge of that shit. That's, That's what I was gonna say. Fuck all this. Did any of y'all see how <laughs> Jay Z is the coordinator Correct. of this? Been like that and for a couple of years now. Kind of his Been people. People. There's like a theory of like his shady business practices and how. Um, basically, going back, how I've kind of academics and shit were talking about this. How in the beginning, uh, how did it first start? Like I think Germ- I think at one point Jermaine Dupri was supposed to be the. Uh, um, the coordinator of choosing who performs at the uh, thing. And then this was around the time when the Colin Kaepernick shit was happening. And then Jay-Z and Jermaine Dupree were cool. And then he was telling him like, yo, no, don't do that. Like we got to um, stand against the NFL. They're doing this to black people, doing this to black people. Mm-hmm. And, then he, and then Jermaine Dupree was like, this is basically like a dumbed down story of this. Okay. And then Jermaine Dupree was just like, nah, I ain't. Okay, yeah, I'm going to rock with you. Yeah, we ain't doing all that. Like let's stand against this shit. Like, yeah, kneeling, whatever. Yeah. That shit died out. Jay-Z came in, took that position. And then there's like different, there's multiple different things of him doing this. And people think it's like genius of him being a businessman doing this. Because another example, there is with the title shit, he was uh, preaching like, we need to, um, you know, uh, Apple does this to us. Apple does this to black creators. And Spotify does this to black creators. Uh, I have my own. You need to f- support like title, blah, blah, blah. Like black owned, black owned. Y'all ain't, y'all ain't, f- come on, do this. And then um, he like gets trained and there are a couple whatever people on there and then he just sells it to the white man and it's like there's like there's like multiple <laughs> patterns of this so yeah basically that and then this and then um basically my point of this uh i guess what's going on now and little wayne's just like the uh what's the word like he's just a byproduct of this uh because uh, uh jay-z doesn't fuck with like uh, Birdman and like, um, uh, like Nicki Minaj and that's all. That's what them. I was trying to say. Yeah, this because, is leading to all this. Yeah, yeah. that's what I was trying um, to say. Because I'm like, Nicki Minaj there, off there, there's some riff there. Yeah, there's because, some shit going on. Because shady uh, shit going yeah, on. Yeah, exactly. Because that's why I was like, so I don't think Jay Z even wants Wayne to perform there. Uh, and then all people are like, yo, well maybe Kendrick will bring Wayne out at the Super Bowl. In theory, that sounds absolutely great. However, yeah. we do have to realize that Wayne brought up one of the biggest artists out. Of all time, I mean Drake and their yeah. boy. That's his boy. So I mean, if he was to stand on stage with Kendrick at the Super Bowl, yeah, no, it's not gonna happen. Yeah. So my point being is, is I, I get everything you're saying. Like I get everything side. Jamari's saying. I didn't even say nothing. You, <laughs> you, you said a whole. What? You said a, you gave a whole a, dialogue. You gave a whole thing. What does he mean? You didn't what say anything. No, I didn't really say how I felt about it. No. What'd your mom say? Uh, but yeah, Jay Z's basically a lot of choosing, picking sides, and Jay Z's a very strategically 
low key, you could say a marketing fucking genius, mm-hmm. like on some selfish shit. You can't deny that, but it's kind of crazy. I don't know. There's a full story that nobody knows but them. What's going on behind the scenes? Yeah. But Jay Z is kind of some evil genius. Yeah, shit. I don't evil hater genius. I feel billionaire like billionaire shit. Don't get me wrong. I I believe Jay Z is evil. I ain't gonna lie to you because my nigga Tory locked up. But oh god. But and it's a th- hey my but, bad. There's some crazy theory where I'm like yo what the fuck I'm sorry about with the Megan and Tory shit because mm-hmm. Megan's with Rock Nation and so there's some theory saying that Jay Z. Kind of yeah. pushed this shit. Like, uh-huh. That shit happened, like probably genuinely, like the wh- whatever the fuck went down. Something something went down that night. But Jay Z with Megan Thee Stallion, Rock Nation, he was like, "Yo," basically telling her what to do step by step. He's like, "Oh yeah, we're gonna make you the next Rihanna and Chris Brown, like like blowing like to blow you up and like do this and say." Because I first remember while she was kind of like, "I don't want to bring a black man down." Like lying. I first remember and she was kind of lying about it. People were saying like Jay Z was like, "No, no, dude, like say this and do and this." Like made her yeah. be like, "He's like Fuck the Tory. team was like, yeah, we're gonna make you the next like Rihanna." So people will like be a victim, like you play victim and be the sympathy, and then your shit would blow up. Like I'm just like. Some some theories, some conspiracy right. theories. I've never been to conspiracy theories, but it like make sense. some shit, I'm like, damn. Listen, I'm not even gonna get in that yet. But well, let's circle back to Super Bowl. What I'm so but my bad. Super, I went on some crazy. Yeah. Shit. So with the Super Bowl, <laughs> I feel like I don't. I feel like Jay Z has a say so, but I feel like his say so is only to a certain point. Like it's not that powerful. No, I feel like I wouldn't say it's not that powerful because I feel like there's definitely other we, hands. We, it's, not, it's not he he gets yeah, to shoot. I a team. I, yeah. I feel like he's Rock the Nation one that I think, I think he is the one that brings up the names. And then he proposes them yeah. to, there, to the people. Like that, there's like a board and shit like yeah, that. Yeah, I feel like he's stuff. proposing names yeah. to people and he has to pitch the idea of having these people and then all the niggas with the money involved in the Super Bowl be like, hmm, yeah, that would be cool. We we should do that. All right, we're going to do that. No, that. And Kendrick is the most... Because if it was just one person, they could be like, oh, like Super Bowl 2024, we got Pee Wee Longway. And people... And it, don't get me wrong. It's not about who's hot because Kendrick right. is the hottest nigga this... Uh, like, pause. That's crazy. <laughs> Um, he is because he the hottest nigga this year. Like, oh, they say. Nigga, that's pause. But <laughs> <laughs> but like he's, as far as being like like bro, he's like the most popping artist this year as as far as hip hop goes. So I yeah. don't feel like, but I don't feel like that plays a role as in the why they picked him because if you go back years, the past previous years under Jay Z, the niggas ain't the hottest niggas out right now. Like nigga, Dr. Dre. I, when the last time this nigga made a song, that was like. Oh, Dre! Like, nigga, that's fire. But they they brought the West Coast out on when they went yeah, to LA. Yeah, that was a whole thing. I will say, Usher was the only nigga I, that was popping I'm, when they brought him out. Shakira yeah. in Miami, they didn't do that. Like, I'm Bat, be, I'm Bat be, Bunny was the only nigga popping when they went did shit in Miami. I'm gonna be real. Uh, when they when I when I saw last week when uh, Kendrick is performing the Super Bowl, I, I was very surprised. Me too, because he was, was in like, that Super Bowl yeah, performance. I was I was like, not because of that. Because I was. The thing is, with that Super Bowl performance, he wasn't like. It wasn't like he he had like this. Cra- it was just like he was he was a cameo within the. He was the thing. opener. He, he okay, opened it. I got you, but he was like he. St- it wasn't like it was all about him. Was one nah, time it wasn't all about him. Like to for, to center it was, a to center a whole, perfor- uh, a whole Super Bowl performance not only around a rapper but a, like a conscious rapper is 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 insane. That's but, crazy. Let's be real. <laughs> but let's but he also though, he, nigga, you, I'm he a different fan. though. Nigga, he I, made I, no, but I'm saying he's I a completely different. Completely agree. He's so a different concept. I don't want to hear motherfuckers because a particular person who I won't name was like, bro, what is this nigga Kendrick gonna do? Perform humble fucking ten times? You know what I'm saying? I'm like, all right. Let's not do that. Okay. Yeah, yeah all right. I'm not gonna do that. Nigga, not like us. He he go perform yeah. that. He's gonna change the words up and a little that, bit. At this point, oh my god, I just thought of that. Bro, he's yeah. gonna if he's, he performs not like us, he he super hey, the great, Drake bro, might be right. done. The bro. greatest <laughs> diss track Drake might be ever. Done, bro. The greatest diss track ever, Listen, nigga. Holy there's no way he's fuck bro. I didn't think about Listen, that. Bro, you didn't nigga, think about that? Please wait, bro. No, I just didn't think about there's it. There's absolutely no way he's not gonna perform not like us. Niggas made a song dissing you talk about being Drizzy as big as the Super Bowl. And then we do the Super Bowl, nigga. Fuck y'all. I didn't even think about that Nigga, part. Crazy. I didn't even think about that crazy. part. Crazy. <laughs> Yo, imagine the whole stadium uh, A minor. And then you can't say you can't put minor. a dent in Drake's career. No, fuck. fuck that. The whole, the whole, the whole <laughs> stadium in New Orleans, A minor plus a hundred, what hundred million people watching that shit? Yes. Or like, Everybody at home. Nah, a bro, minor. Drake, not just a dent, that nigga. Right he might, there, he, he, might, be total, he might end that nigga right there. That's what I'm that. saying. That's nigga, crazy. Get, imagine a whole New Orleans. Superdome A minor. Oh. <laughs> nah, yeah. That's yeah. that's fucked, bro. <laughs> hey. 
Yeah. Bro, but the fact that it's the Talk iron, about killing bro, someone's career. It's the like. irony, nigga. I'm doing the Super Bowl halftime performance. Y'all diss me on a song where y'all yeah. talk about and I, we I, are I, big as a Super I Bowl. Say, I completely forgot about that part, too. You know, uh, I completely forgot about that. Bro, nah, ironic as fuck. Kend- Kendrick already won. Oh, bro, yes. I feel like he's been had that shit. I mean, you know, won, alleged, it's, it's beyond that now. He oh, obliterated pause. that nigga. Get your feet off the table, nigga. So I was getting but, comfortable. As far as like just like the Super Bowl performance, I feel like Wayne, not to say he didn't deserve it, but he didn't do anything to make niggas be like, where we want Wayne. Like the nigga has not the nigga hasn't made a hit in years. He hasn't dropped an album where you like, yo, Wayne dropped. Oh, you, nigga, you ain't heard a song from Wayne on the radio. The nigga hasn't been popping. Not to say you need to be popping to get a Super Bowl performance. But, Absolutely not. But also what have you been doing? Like Usher, he really doesn't have a hit. And he has one hit, technically good, with Summer Walker. He's Summer Walker, and so it ain't that much of a hit. No, nah, it, but it's it, it's big enough. And then he had the uh, he was just relevant. Wayne has been doing nothing. I mean, the, as of late, he did the shit on. Undisputed. I don't think that he did the shit on. Undisputed. Yeah, what are the accolades that, that, that to perform yeah, at it's, it, That's what saying. It has nothing. I don't think it really has anything to do with. Do with like if you haven't hit right now, it's like if they have fucking Bon Jovi at the goddamn Super Bowl. It's like it, it comes down to what perform. Like, I think performing the, the impact, makes a difference too. The impact, of course, the impact of your catalog. I will say yes. I don't know. I don't think his stage I, presence is that. And I saw a video of Wayne performing recently. It doesn't look that good. It so, don't. Say, it doesn't look like something I would put in front of almost 150 million people. Correct. Like to where I'd be like, we want him for the Super Bowl. Yes. His catalog. He has songs that he can't perform, but. What is that going to look like? Because somebody made the argument like um, just it also comes down to, I guess, how how, you could say how mainstream and relevant you are at the moment. But also like you're you're just how like you clean your like controversies are and shit like that. And if I'm not mistaken, he's kind of like he's a little drugged out now. Am I I not? Well, I think he's feeling the repercussions of being drugged out for so long. The post effects. Yeah. yeah, yeah. His voice and shit is fucked up. I've heard yeah. from some, from little birdies that this nigga is definitely leaned out, drugged out. And you think he leaned out again? On, on, on all types of shit. Anyway, but I'm not going to stay on this for too much longer. I just wanted to say, I think that Kendrick performing at the Super Bowl, that was very surprising. I was definitely not expecting that. But overall, in my opinion, regardless of anything, this solidifies his win in the beef. I, I don't care how, how the performance goes, just... Once you said that, I just realized. Yeah. Big as a Super Bowl, nigga, I'm performing it's as a Super cooked. Bowl. Drake, <laughs> big as a Super Bowl. Nigga, I am the, I'm performing as a Super Bowl. Nigga, first off, nigga said, if fuck the big three is big me, now I'm performing halftime at the Super Bowl. That and is like that So is I took two insane. things y'all said and twisted it back on me. How the fuck did I not catch that, Jamari? Hey, I don't know. I seen the shit, but also one other point before we move on from the Super Bowl is, I feel like as black culture, nigga, y'all stood behind Kendrick when it came to the beef. Now y'all don't stand behind him performing at the halftime show. Mm. I find that I, I find that weird because it's just like that's just Twitter always. I feel like, us. but I feel like it's fucked up because y'all was backing me when we was beefing with the Canadian rapper. Because Wayne's in the mix, like our actual black but, culture. Oh wait, a- but hip-hop artist. but that means you slander me. That means you take away from what I did. That's how black because that's how it goes, bro. <laughs> that's how but, but hip hop. But I'm, but that's how that's fucked a competitive up it is, nature. Bro. You tear me down because you want someone else. How about y'all be like, damn, y'all could be sad, but why try to? Discredit me like, oh, what is she gonna perform? People, this is and this, oh, this, nah, this nah, nah, nah. Is like, damn, based nigga, off y'all was of, just with me, based off of what I've seen with Wayne. Listen, you people don't really want Wayne, bro. They don't really want Wayne. Up they like the idea they like of the, Wayne exactly. performing. They like the idea of Wayne oh, performing. Wayne, New Orleans, you know, that'd be fire. <laughs>